Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Side Roses. In today's video, we will be discussing about the put away rule in order sampling. So, put away rule acts as one of the key rule in the inventory management because it designates where we just need to direct the product. So, um, without a put away rule, we might be wondering where to place the order or the products when we just uh, get an item into our stock. So using a put away rule it says that it's a hammer and place it into shelf xyz now let's consider two products which is a hammer and a uh, uh, shirt so it has got different categories such as tool and uh, clothing area so as you just use a put away rule this would automatically designate uh, the product into the locations without any further interventions which means that this streamlines the process by saving the time and effort so let's check how can we manage the put away rule in order 17 inventory management to manage with the put away rule let's move on to the inventory module and here we know we are just going to consider two products which is hammer that comes under the tool uh, category and shirt which comes under a clothing category so here uh, we know put away rule is a way of setting all these products or different products into the right locations without thinking of where to just locate them. So in order to set that you can just go to the configuration settings. In the configuration settings as you just drag down under the warehouses you can see storage locations and we just need to enable multi-step routes as well as storage categories. So storage locations helps you to track product locations in your warehouse. And we know each location will have different routes. So in order to manage with this routes, we have to enable the multi-step routes. As well as each of them has a storage category. So this categorizes your location for model put away rule. So whenever we receive the hammer and uh, the um, shirts together, um, we know the main storage location is uh, the warehouse. But there we have just sectionized a tool area as well as a clothes storage area so we have to uh, locate all these product likewise so here you can see we can just um, create a storage category and uh, in order to uh, manage with the storage category and put away rule either you can just manage it from the configuration settings of the inventory module or else under the configuration menu here you would be able to find the put away rule storage categories and all now let me create the storage categories which i have already done over here so for uh, hammer, we can see that the storage category name is set to toolbox and uh, the maximum weight is 500 and uh, allow new products if all products are saved. So here we have different options like if the location is empty, location uh, can be, I mean we can allow new products with uh, mixed products and all. So currently of if all products are uh, saved we can just move to the toolbox and uh, the product is hammer and the maximum quantity can 500 and the quantity I'm sitting over here is just 100. Now afterwards here you can also find the other category for t-shirt or shirts uh, that is clothing store and uh, I have just given a storage category with maximum quantity or maximum weight as 100 and the quantity is 150 and uh, here you can find the product. So later on we can just create a put away rule. So in order to create the put away rule before uh, we have to create the locations. So under the locations here, you would be able to find that uh, the main uh, warehouse is WH stock. So under the WH uh, stock, we will have different areas that is the internal locations. Internal locations are the locations inside a warehouse. So for keeping the hammers, we can just use the location name as tool. And uh, um, here you can see that we have designated the story uh, category for this location which is a toolbox for keeping the hammers and under the um, WH uh, clothes uh, shelf here you can see that we have designated the storage category as clothing store because we just need to designate the um, t-shirts or shirts whenever the product is just arrived in the warehouse without any confusions so we can also designate uh, a proper away rule for this which means put away rules are nothing but whenever uh, different items uh, is receiving into our warehouse the uh, warehouse keeper should not be confused where to keep that so if we are setting a particular put away rule for each of the item there need not to be any wandering of setting of the product so put away rule will 
correctly designate this product. So you would be able to find that uh, uh, we have set a put away rule for uh, uh, the category. So whenever the product arrives in WH stock, the product hammer must store in the sublocation WH stock tools and that will be having a category as toolbox. And whenever the shirt is arriving at WH stock, then it must be moved to the WH stocks clothing shelf and it is having a category as clothing stock. So in order to manage with this, uh, we know the product will be entered to a warehouse upon the purchase of the item. So we have to move into the um, yeah a purchase module and let's create a, a request for quotation for uh, Abigail Peterson and uh, we can just use the products over here. So the products are hammer and uh, shirt. So let me choose that. And here you can also just designate the quantity. So I'm just going to designate the quantity as... Uh, uh, 50 and uh, 75 respectively and later on uh, here you can see we have set everything and let's save this and uh, confirm uh, the order so as we just confirm the order under the receipts here you would be able to find uh, the uh, hammer and shirts and uh, here you can also find the icon so as you just click on the icon here you can find uh, the product is currently designated to uh, WH stock tools and uh, when you just uh, yeah see that whenever the product is uh, received at uh, the destination WH stock that will be moved to the special location or the sub location WH stock tools and we just set the put away rule so here also under the shirts you would be able to find that uh, even if the product is in sale uh, RFQ we can just uh, move that to the uh, special locations or the designated sub locations so it's very easy to manage with the put away rule now let's move on with the further step which means we just need to validate this and you can just click on validate and um, now we have just received the item into the stock so under the valuation you can find other details uh, like we have just inputted the item and you can find the details over here that is uh, the hammer with some um, 50 quantity has just moved and uh, uh, the shirt with 75 quantity is just moved which means we have placed incorrect location of W8 stock so under the detailed operation this shows the detailed operations also now let's move on to the inventory reporting and in the inventory reporting you would be able to find the stock movement within the locations uh, because here you can see that as you just drag down the product hammered is just placed in the tool uh, um, location and uh, that is the WH stock um, tool and for the shirts it's placed in the WH stock clothing um, store. So here, here you can see the on hand quantity and everything and you can also get different um, reports such as the move history and this also shows the reference number, product details and uh, um, the product has moved from partner vendor to the uh, locations and uh, as the quantity is uh, placed in our warehouse it is indicated in green color now as you just move to the uh, move analysis here you can see the move analysis uh, and you can also make uh, filtrations over here so currently you can see the move analysis of the 10 quantities and uh, now we know the product is just placed in the WH stop with different locations and here you can just click on the place plus icon of the month and we just need to find the product so here you can see the uh, products with different quantities and uh, demanded uh, demand and the count and uh, you can also get the valuations over here um for the product so under the reporting you will get reports uh, of various types such as the stock valuations and everything and under the inventory aging you can also find uh, the uh, different categories that is all clothes uh, with remaining quantity as 75 and its remaining value and under all tools which is the product uh, uh, hammer and if you want to just find the product here you can see under tools we have only the product hammer and that also shows the quantity and remaining value so this is how we just manage with the put away rule in Odoo 17 inventory management. So put away rule helps you to run more efficient and make organized 
warehouses by keeping the staffs more happier. So I hope this video clarifies how to manage the put away rule in Odoo 17 inventory management. So if you want any Odoo customization or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cyberoses as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.